So, both you think having uh, having masks be optional will help both with learning inside the classroom and with socialization outside the classroom, something that's been made more difficult over the last two years. Right. Uh, yes, I absolutely do because the social socialization part of it is uh, very important and a great deal of that socialization is being able to see each other and express feelings, uh, emotions, things of that nature. Um, students have only been able to see the very top portions of their faces uh, for 18 months. So uh, it, it, it's part of the interaction between students, students and teachers. Uh, so I think it, it, there was a part missing for all that time that has now been restored. And God forbid, if there is another way of going, uh, uh, I don't know the Greek alphabet for the next. <laughs> the next We're at Omicron, a, so. A Chi variant. Yeah. Um, and you, there, the county does enter a high level of spread again, and you do have to wear a mask. Would that transition be difficult, you think, for the kids? Or? No, I don't think so. Um, it depends on, uh, first of all, those, those decisions obviously will be made by, you know, the, the superintendent and the Board of Education. But uh, if, it, if it's fairly soon, they'll just go right back into what they were doing. They're, they're very used to it. Uh, and our kids are, uh, you know, they, they understand. They're, they're, they're not uh, obstinate. They, they know that this is all health related and it's for their health and their family's health. So yeah, if we had to go back and do it, we, 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 I think we'd be fairly easy to, to return to where we were.